Hey guys, Dallas Smith out here at 9158 Chastain Place, Cordova, Tennessee. Out here for the homeowner, uh, Miss Susie Wu. Her claim number is 0709781297. And see here we've got our uh, repair area marked out here today. The outline shingles all need to be manipulated in order to get this wind damage shingle out of here. Up above here to the left as well, we do have a control shingle so we can see what an unmanipulated shingle looks like throughout this process compared to shingles that do need to be manipulated to get these out of here uh, and replaced. Uh, up above here, I've got the uh, claim information there so you can see that as well. And I am out here by myself today, so I do have a little system set up so that I can get this uh, camera set up so that you guys can see everything. And then anything else that you need to see over here as I get to it, then I'll move the camera over closer to show that stuff as well. This uh, here. All right, so we got work area right there. Their pry bar. Get this old shit out of here. That's loose. Get these nails out. Should be the old shingle out of there. Get that removed. There we go. And old shingle. I'll grab some measurements here so we can identify what this shingle is as well. So we are at 36 inches wide with a 5 inch exposure, 12 inch height. Check out the back side of this shingle. do have do not remove no Qatar 04 uh, with the do not remove MEM this is an old Owens Corning uh, classic three tab shingle there uh, produced at the Memphis plant the do not remove repeated with the no Qatar and the year printed date on um, there is a giveaway for that uh, I do have with me today a new production Owens Corning Supreme shingle and their estate gray would be the closest color option for us. And to view the back side of this shingle here as well, so you guys can see that. Uh, we do have the do not remove, no Qatar again, repeated with the do not remove on there again. This is uh, produced in the Irving plant, 2020 production for this one. Let's get this back over here. And here we show a close up of this work area before we get farther into this as well. Nothing really visible right now. Maybe some light creasing granule loss right there. Everything else looks pretty good so far. lined up and a magnetic hammer with us today get this up and new nails in 
sure we're still lined up. Get this other side. four nails in the new shingle. Place the nails in the next run. So there is some creasing starting to show here. Let me get you guys close. Get that chalk out of the way. And so that one looks okay. A little bit over there, possibly. Yeah, it's a little bit granular loss there. We do have some creasing right here on that shingle. Same thing, heavy green loss in that area there, corner there. <laughs> Some creasing here. And creasing right there as well. Same thing down here, We've got creasing right there. Same thing here, so you can see like where the shingle is bending over here. Same thing over there, and right here on this shingle, and again in the corner right there as well. Like I said, this is a old Owens Corning classic shingle, new production Supreme shingles. There is a color change. You can see that evident here as well for the uh, new shingles to the old shingles. Uh, due to the consequential damage here, as well as the issues with the reasonably uniform appearance of the property, uh, I'm going to recommend that this roof be replaced at this time. Uh, I'm going to mark up you know, anywhere that we had some damage with the blue here, here, there, that side, that corner, over there as well. It's a little light up here, but we do have areas where we do have grain loss on this next run of shingles here. As you can see, there is a lot of damage, quite a bit of damage up here on the front side of the house here as well. Quite a few repairs. During these repairs, you will have consequential damage to some of the shingles surrounding these, as well as an issue with maintaining the reasonable uniform appearance of the property as well. So again, this is, in my opinion, a failed repair, and I do recommend that the roof be replaced. Uh, again, just sorry to go up here. To the control shingle as well. I said these have been untouched. You can brush these a lot harder than those down there. Have much less granules come off. Everything's still good compared to the shingles that did need to be manipulated.